Siri, what does it mean to have gender? <laughs> We've become so used to the disembodied voices that surround us. From the voice answering to Siri, to the on giving us directions on our GPS apps. But have you ever stopped to wonder why some of these voices are coded male and others as female? The tech isn't gendered, but the voices are, and it's true in fiction as well as fact. Consider Vicky from iRobot or Hal from Space Odyssey. Why does Star Trek have a female coded central ship computer? Is it because, as Liz Faber suggests, space is hostile and the ship womb-like and nurturing against the coldness of space? Well, it's food for thought, isn't it? Modern science understands gender as a social construct rather than an actual difference between one sex and another and another. That's why it's been so subject to change over the centuries. Consider the 18th century gent with his hair curlers, lace, tights, and heels. So why bother gender coding our technology at all? What's it doing for us or against us? To find out, we're reading The Computer's Voice by Liz Faber, a brilliant analytical romp through feminist psychoanalysis and trippy space operas. Join us live, and you also get to speak with our guest host, Rebecca Gibson, author of The Bad Corset, a feminist reimagining. Hint, the corsets weren't as bad as you think. Join us for an Authors Hosting Authors event VIP. There will be feminist cocktails. June 13th. Only on the Peculiar Book Club. <laughs>